Hey, aloha gang. Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. This is a fish and dive channel made just for guys like you. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you turn on that no notification bell too, I, I guess I found out. So do that. And um, on this week's episode, we are going fishing for Papil. We're going to go troll for Papil in Kaneohe Bay with my really good friend, Eve. Uh, right now, I guess she was on uh, fall break for school, so she scheduled this way out saying, please just take me in the bay. Uh, so I said, okay, I got to make my guaranteed papel rig, right? So I'm sure you guys seen me on a couple other episodes, but I'm going to go over both the guaranteed papel rig and also my Yozuri setup for bigger papel and other pelagics or near shore trolling. Um, okay, but before I do that, I just want to send a big, big mahalos to all you guys teachers out there, all you educators. Um, I know you guys feel like you guys are un like underpaid, underappreciated, and overworked, which is true. So <laughs> thank you guys for doing what you guys do, but just know that everything you guys are doing is, the things you're doing now is changing the future for all of us later. So thank you guys again. Really do appreciate you guys. So. All right, so let's get into what rigs I use. Okay, so the first rig is my guaranteed papel rig. So as you can see, it's a real light pole. It's the ones my kids use. Let me untangle this, okay. So, it's just your straight up, this is kind of the Kaneohe special. Is uh, I you like to use in this situation, because I'm not whipping it, a small water bubble, but you can use the big one, that's fine. I like to use these small tough bubbles, going to a little swivel, and I'm gonna have about five, six feet of 12 to 15 pound test fluorocarbon. And what I use is these little red beads. Little red bead to uh, about that size MZ hook, okay? And of course, I use my buddy's uh, Aku Eye Lure grubs, um, what's been killing it lately is this one. It's the um, disco, but you can use any of them. They all work. I, I've used them all. They all kind of work. As you can see, I have a big assortment here. So it's Aqua Lures. Uh, oh, and if you use his product, um, I don't get anything from it, but uh, he said he'll give uh, my fans a discount. So if you order through the site and use the code OFF1, O-F-F-1, uh, he'll give you a discount. Um, but you can see the link, the, basically the, uh, in my description, I'll, I'll put the details, but all right. So my first one is just the water bubble leader and little grub and see how I hook it just to the head. I, I tend to do it this way. Now it's, it's, it makes it run, uh, true. You don't need to worry about the thing, um, going like this through the back. And what happens sometimes it'll slide down. And it'll, it'll drag weird like this. So that's why now all I do is I just go through this first line right there. Just right through the head. And bam. That way it'll, it'll just run nice and straight every time. Okay. And uh, my other one is my go-to. This is like if I only could choose one lure um, and it catches the biggest, most fish, it'll be my Yuzuri. Uh, Yuzuri Crystal Minnow, just like this. And I like the silver and the black top floating. This is like my go-to. I use a Rapala knot, about six feet of fluorocarbon, 30 pound test, to a little micro swivel. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a really tiny swivel. That way, on some of my uh, poles that are a little shorter, it can actually go through the guides. You don't want to run it through the guides all the time, but at least for storage on a boat, it, it, it really does come in handy. So, oh, and another uh, super big tip is secret, nah. But I actually do change out these treble hooks to the owner four times strong. Make sure you get the right size because if you get the bigger size, what happens is it'll throw off the wobble. So you try to match the same size hook. So I change out the split rings and the hooks to these stronger hooks because a lot of times I got a couple of lures just swallow this thing. So I wanted them to hold even mahi and aqua and stuff. So, and also what else I do is I, you see the eye, it doesn't come stock red like that. I take a Sharpie, a little tiny Sharpie, I color in the eye red and then the gills too. 
assimilating a sick or wounded fish. So this swimming by itself, I don't know if it helps a lot, but I think it does. It, it really attracts a lot of fish. So, all right. Now for that, so let's go. Holo, holo. <laughs> it was super sunny this morning and then now it's just raining cats and dogs. I mean, it is coming down. As you can see, I usually never have my top up on my boat. That way I can fish easier, but it is just dumping. But all right, let's go. Hanapa, let's go, Eve. Here we go, Joe. You gotta go clear that line. Drive with one hand, cranking with the other one. Maybe grab the net, brother. All right, here we go, Eve. You got this. Yeah, yeah, right on Eve. There you go. One pupil down. So, Aku lures, man, just killing it. Yep, the disco grub. So, all right, well, let's go measure this guy. I mean, it looks legal. Legal is 10 inches, state of Hawaii. Just guarantee more, but just to measure, just double check. Yeah, yeah, 12 inches. All right, put him in the cooler. Gee. All right, blood in the box. So it's gonna reset our lines and reset and try to kind of circle around the same area because usually papillas they usually hang in big schools so they look kind of like the same terrain or it might get a lot of bait fish around so yeah harapa there you go Eve. Oh, wrap the tip, amateur. Ah, oh, look at this small, small papilla. Hit this big lure. All right, let him go to let him grow. Gee. Yeah, you. Yeah, finally on. Here we go. My turn. Yes, uh, yeah, ah, boo, <laughs> baby. <laughs> uh, 
High five. All right, catch and release. Look, paid off, Hannah Paul. That's a better size. All right, go measure this and then show them in a cooler. Yeah, perfect. Nice one. Whoa, whoa, whoa watch out. Ghost ride the whip. <laughs> Almost ate it. <laughs> Sucking Eve, stop shaking the boat. Nah, 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 just kidding. <laughs> All right, set lines. Let's go get them. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, Eve got hit by something big. It's ripping line. Here we go. Hold on for your life. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Double, double, double. All right, we gotta stop the boat so we can land these fish and, ooh, forgot which way to turn already. <laughs> Hit the kill switch, let's go. again for watching another episode of on fire fishing hawaii and i'm not gonna have a catch and cook on this one because eve's family took all of the fish so that was a real blessing to them so right on so remember to fish safe and fish with aloha all right guys catch you guys on the next one <laughs>